Join me now to discuss the recent issue of fake certificates and its impact on the education uh, in the country. I'm joined by education researcher and leader of Nigerian teachers community, Dr. Peter Dugoro. Thank you for joining us on the news this hour. In addition to federal government suspending the evaluation and accreditation of universities in Bene and Togo, we understand that 18 foreign universities operating in Nigeria have also been banned, describing them as degree mills. So what do you make of this um, position taken by government at this time? Well, I, I think as a responsible government, uh, what um, the authorities are trying to do is to ensure that the people who go, who, who, who come into Nigeria uh, with certificates purported to have been um, earned abroad actually will have knowledge and skills that uh, match what their certificates claim. And of course, we know that this recent development has been triggered by uh, a report by one of um, your professional colleagues who um, obviously discovered that there is indeed uh, a very unholy process through which people are and their certificates with that knowledge and skills that, that match them. So um, I would be very surprised if the federal government ignores uh, this kind of uh, problematic situation. Indeed. So that, yeah. You know, interestingly, this is not the first time that um, a story like this would be told. In 2018, you know, there was also a robust um, report on this matter. But I know you facilitate studying abroad and, you know, scholarships yourself. What does this mean for more scrutiny in that industry, and what should prospective students be on the lookout for? Well, I, I think beyond um, the current action by the government, it's very important that we uh, look into the possibility of establishing a robust uh, career management system in the Federal Ministry of Education and have uh, similar systems across all the states in Nigeria so that we can have professionals who provide young people who are uh, you know, legitimately seeking opportunities for further education. We help them with the right information. What we have currently is a situation where um, you know, everybody is just trying to help himself or herself. And we live in a country where uh, young people have been brought up to believe that in the absence of university degree, um, they will continue to live in poverty. And so if that's where we are, and we are not able currently to meet uh, the high demand for university education, then we should know that people will continue to uh, look outside of our country for opportunities to be able to meet their aspirations. Uh, unfortunately for us, uh, the, what we know is that um, if we provide uh, the right information, uh, we won't be having this kind of situation. But as I have said, unfortunately, we are not providing the right information to our young people. So we need to uh, create career management systems in secondary school so that young people can have the right information at the right time and will not have to fall prey to um, these scammers who uh, collect their money without giving the opportunities to acquire uh, globally competitive knowledge and skills. It's hard to tell the number of people currently in our workforce who had gotten the certificates in this way and manner. What, in your opinion, is the potential implication of this? And do you think it's important that we we'll begin to fish them out? Yeah, more importantly, uh, I, I think that we need to reorientate uh, Nigerians to recognize that even if it's possible to get certificates without uh, going through the rigors of, of studying, that is not the right thing to do because the world we live in now has changed. In the past years, uh, merely presenting a certificate earns you a job. It is no longer so, especially in the private sector. Even in the public sector, uh, more and more uh, agencies of government and ministries uh, 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 have put in place systems that enable them to ensure that the people they employ um, write aptitude tests and go through interviews that enable them to determine who actually merits have been employed. So merely... Uh, presenting a certificate uh, uh, no longer guarantees anybody employment. Yeah. You you work in a TV station. If you are not able to, you know, do newscasting and do news reporting, I tell you, I it agree with you completely. You but you know, the character intent also matters. So I can have the skill, but if I produce a wrong certificate, it also speaks to the intent of my character. But Nancy is asking government to reconsider its position because of you know students who have gone through the rigor who are necessarily not culpable in, 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 in this degree mail. What do you make of that um, request at this time? 
I agree with Nance. If the universities um, that uh, we are discussing are universities that are accredited in their countries um, of, of origin, uh, and I think even the, the, the particular story that triggered this matter uh, is one of those universities. That university, to the best of my knowledge, is accredited in Benin Republic. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, um, um, some you know very useless elements have penetrated the system and have uh, corrupted it, and that's how come we are where we are. So there must be Nigerians who are legitimately studying in that institution and trying to acquire the right knowledge and spending the number of years it takes to study there. And so this is, again, not um, uh, limited to actually um, this university and some other universities that have been listed uh, in the current uh, you know, development. But I tell you that even uh, 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 Unilag and you know, Abadu Bello and several other universities across our country, if you go and scrutinize the system very well, you are likely to discover that there are people who have actually uh, succeeded in uh, obtaining degrees and, and diplomas without uh, going through the rigors of, of yes. studying in classrooms. So we need to you know, put in place more robust systems that will ensure that only those who merit certificates do, 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 do have them. Dr. Peter Altogaro is a, a, an education researcher and lead of Nigerian teachers community. Thank you for talking to us on the news of this hour. My pleasure. Elsewhere now, former Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, 